Hey Siri, how not to miss any future iCameron videos? Just go ahead and click on the bell button to be notified. Enjoy! What's up fam? I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel. Smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay up to date on the latest and greatest tech related content. So I've got a quick and easy video for you guys. This is for my Shopify people. I've just been having a little bit of trouble adding certain HTML or CSS features to the code in the back end. And if you guys don't know how to get there, just go to themes and then you'll see your theme that you have. And then you can hit like the uh, customize button and then it'll say edit theme or edit code. So that's where I am right now. I'm in the edit code section. And so basically what I wanted to do was create a, um, a little click me to see more colors, like write a little uh, script that says, hey, if, if your product has more than one color, then go ahead and say uh, more colors, or in my case, click me to see more colors. So I finally got that out of the way. As you can tell, one of them has it, one of them doesn't. So I made the script basically say, if the product contains more colors, then say click me to see more colors. It's super simple and super easy. So I'm gonna zoom on in to show you guys how I did it. So open up the code exactly. This is for the boundless theme, as you can tell in the top left right here. And so what you wanna to go to is the product-grid-item.liquid. That'll be all the way under snippets. Okay, now this is just all the code that basically uh, gives you this, these little previews of these things. So what I did is I stuck it right under the price if you do not want to stick it under the price, that's fine. You can stick it above it. It'll just um, look a little different. And so here is the code that I used. But I will put this down in the description below unless you want to just pause the video right now and copy it. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick and easy one. I just wanted to share with you guys because I've been looking up how to edit the code for the boundless theme for a long time. And in this particular case, a lot of people have too. So. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below if this helped you out. I'll see you next time. Later fam.